Hi guys, Hypno here and today I would like to go a little bit further than the last time so I would like to check what's inside this little beauty uh, and I mean sensor cup uh, M1 uh, hotspot, helium hotspot yeah, you can see some USB ports in here so also I, I, I will ask, answer the question whether the uh, working whether there's power there on this USB port or not but that will be later on right so let's uh, dismantle this uh, little black box what we will need obviously screwdriver that's <laughs> obvious but I also use little plastic tool uh, to opening uh, the covers and I would suggest to do that, don't do my mistakes. Um, in the past I was using a screwdriver, obviously the metal tip is not necessarily good for opening the cover or any um, metal you know, parts. Uh, obviously, little scratches, so yeah. So a little screw. finger just to avoid scratches always be gentle <laughs> right and let's use a little plastic tool oh, I think it's easier said than that than done ah, there you go right and now you can see all components inside um, not sure it's yeah you can see a memory card and all there are some radiators some coolers okay yep let's open the other side which is more interesting more things to see Right, and one more. Two screws at the front, two screws at the back. Right, obviously handy tool opener. Right, there you go, nice and easy. Uh, shiny parts goes inside. The same with the with the other parts. If you wanted, so the the shiny one, the the one which reflects the light goes inside the grill on the bottom but that's uh, for later right so yeah so we can see from the front from the back uh, and now let's remove all electronics and to do that we don't need that anymore there are six screw at the back at the bottom sorry at the bottom of course of the device and those screws are oh, maybe I should put it on here and those screws are slightly different uh, maybe I should go uh, like this so you can see the long one is the from the cover from the front and the back and the little little one short one it's from the bottom from to remove the electronics so you can't get get them confused there's no way and I'm sure they won't fit also if you try to put them in the wrong place I mean to use the long one cover one to hold the electronics so I'll just hold them Nice. One more, and the last one. There we go. Right. So now, when we have all this mantle, we can remove that. Obviously, you can see there is nothing else there. Uh, and now you can see the radiator. Obviously. 
Okay, it's working. <laughs> and yeah, Laravel gateway module, antenna sockets, all the ports. Okay, power connecting, fun. Memory card, as I mentioned earlier, and the USB port. Right. So let's do quick testing at the end. Uh, obviously, never power the device without the antenna. So I'm gonna connect the antenna. Never, never power. Uh, those devices without antenna attached right so i will need my power cable but before right before powering up let me just connect my little handy tool which is uh, voltage and power meter right so let's connect to the random port uh, it's not going that easy. Right, let's connect the power. You can, I'm not sure you can see, but the, the LED is on the green one. And as you can see, um, uh, sorry, as you can see on my power meter, it shows there is um, voltage is 5.2 volts so let me quickly connect my mobile phone mm -hmm. so once I connect my mobile phone it shows in charging so it's charging sorry yeah so as you can see it's charging yeah so that USB port charge, you can see 5 volts, 0.4 amperes. That's my mobile phone. That's what it takes from this device. So yeah, the USB port works. So if you need them, then probably you can, re re you can use them for something to power some device. Um, yeah, so that's, I think, everything from me. So you can see all the device whole device from every single angle obviously we have some ports in here as well so yes we can use those uh, USB ports to power up an external device uh, there is power the device is charging my mobile now with 5 volts 0.4 amperes um, so yeah so I think that's it basically, and that's applied to any other ports. So if I put it into another one, it will be the same, five volts, zero for one amperes. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and have a great day and bye for now.